Hey guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and this morning we are off to video a world record attempt. Have I got your attention? This is going to be fun. I got a phone call the other day asking me if I could help out. They asked if I could do it at a particular location. It happens that that location is right across the road from where I'm staying on holiday. So I'm like, absolutely, let's do it. But now we're in an elevator and we're going down. So I'm going to do most of the vlogging inside today because outside is super windy. And super windy is great for what we're doing this morning because the world record attempt is the biggest bubble net in the world. We'll talk all about how the thing came to be. We'll meet Maria, who's up for the challenge. And we'll work out how to actually get there. Because I've just walked out the wrong exit and here's the wind. So I'm signing off and I'll talk you through some of the video later on. Hi, my name's Maria. I'm from Cool Bananas Entertainment. And today my daughter and I will be launching the world's biggest uh, bubble net. just uh, finished interviewing Maria and she's now gone off to do final preparations and get a bubble happening and it is happening it is looking spectacular she's pretty chilled and calm I think I'm the one kind of freaking out because I've, I've actually I, I've, I'm the one that's got to capture it and it's got to be able to it's going to be my footage that's going to be used to verify whether it's a world record or not and so every bubble has to come out of every single hole um, so yeah yay for me the problem is I'm going to be shooting on 14 mil. It's very, very high the net when it's fully raised, but I don't know how high at this stage. I don't know how wide. And also I've got to get the aperture and the lighting right so you can actually see the bubbles come out of the net because the light's really quite bright now. It was beautiful before, but now the sun's up. So uh, yay for me. I've also got to position myself in such a way that I move backwards or forwards or to the side to capture it all. We're going to do a number of attempts. So hopefully in the course of those attempts, we'll, we'll smash it. And I've got the, uh, the uh, I've got the gimbal, so the Ronin RS2 I'm using with my Nikon Z6 and a Nikon 14 to 24 mil on it. So that's how I'm going to be moving around. I'm going to have this stationary on a super wide and a bit of 20 mil on it to capture everything from the side. And then we've got a GoPro stuck in the middle. Got somebody else to help me. Thanks, Rybags, for helping me out with that. We're going to stick a, a GoPro right in the center of it and see how we go. So, um, ha, wish me luck. <laughs> So in an interesting turn of events, we've reviewed the footage and we're not convinced. The footage was mint, the footage was spot on, but we're not convinced we've got the record. So it's now 5 p.m. in the same location, same park in Coolumbatta, called Queen Elizabeth Park, which oversees the city and Snapper Rocks. We've decided to come back to see if we can do, well, I'll do a great job, but to see if I, we can get the record and get over the line. And I just wanted to say that there's a ton of things to think about while you're doing a shoot like this. Like this morning I had three cameras going and you don't actually know where the net's going to be raised and how high, how much the wind's going to pick the bubbles up, which direction the bubbles are going. And as I said to, uh, to the guys that were with me this morning, like, gee, I'm glad it's not my first shoot. Far out, that would be super stressful, but it's not. And so we're here for round two to secure that world record. I thought I'd show you the gear that I'm using for this. This is a 14 to 24 Nikkor lens on a Z5. Actually, it's on a Z6. That makes more sense because I can shoot slower in this. I can shoot 120 frames a second at 1080p, which is what I'm going to do to catch the slow mo. And this is going to go side on. So, my lovely assistant 
is going to operate this. She doesn't know that yet. I'll break it to her really, really gently in just a moment. And then I'm also using the GoPro Hero 9, which shoots at 2.7K. It shoots 240 frames a second. I'm going to stick this in the heart of the bubble fest. Yeah, come on. And then I've got a Z5 that I was using earlier on for the interview shots and those kind of things. And I'm vlogging to you on a Nikon ZFC. There you go. You know everything now. I think it's really important when you're doing interviews and doing conversations like that to have a lav mic kit. And this is from Saramonic. I highly recommend it's on a lav mic. This actually comes with two receivers and one base. So you put the base on your camera, plug it into the mic outlet of your camera and then you put microphone on you can mic two people at once with this lav mic or you can do a variety of other things but the two receivers really opens up the world for you and this is way more affordable and I've found to be amazingly reliable and the battery life is incredible the quality that this produces is really fantastic and it's been windy today but the quality has come up all right um, which is partly because it's a lav mic this also comes in a container that you plug in and it charges these things as you go anyway um, we're gonna go now and get into some bubble blowing gosh that sounded ochre didn't it <laughs> we're about to fire up and there's just one last piece of advice I'd give you before I jump into this and that's when you do the same job twice it's way easier the second time because you know how stuff works and where stuff moves and who's involved where and what questions to ask and all that so my learning and lesson to you is that if you're going to do a photo shoot or you're going to do a video shoot or you're going to go engage in that kind of way um, or you almost can if you can recreate what it's going to be like first or you can go along with somebody else to see what it's like or you can have two cracks at it sometimes you don't get that privilege but when you can take it because it makes a massive difference in how you think and app operate and react and respond into and engage into the uh, the, enga the opportunity that you have so having said that, I better nail it, right? So you've got something cool to look at. So we do the one where we take it all the way up first. But dip it three times. One. That guys is a wrap. We are now the world record holders. Actually, nobody uh, knows yet until they take the footage and they give it to the Guinness World Book of Records in probably three months or so when they come and say, yes, you had a bubble come out of every one of those holes in the net. So that's the process, right? Bit of an anti-climax, but there was a big crowd that turned out tonight. It was a lot of fun. Maria did amazing. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of compilation and I'll put a link to the final kind of doco piece we put together for Maria for today just celebrating what she's doing and celebrating home entertainers who um, who do parties and face painting and stuff that haven't been able to because of our current situation so I hope you've enjoyed this you've learned a bit from it it's just allowed you to step into a different space that you might not have ever stepped into before and um, what I love about it is that video and photography can can bless and help and uh, make such a difference in such a wide variety of places that someone could come and, and feel Film this and capture this for Maria I think is awesome I think it's even more awesome that I got to do it thanks so much everybody please subscribe below give us a thumbs up and join the channel if you'd like to and I'll see you in the next one bye uh, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and
to work out how I finish it. We just press stop. Yeah, that doesn't do it. <laughs>